questions to ask for a campaign with the confidence rising. I told WDF those switch good times are coming on even deep diving. Fan cams, reactions, watch alongs to the pride of London thriving. The Eagles of South they flying. Keep your eyes on us, we ain't hiding. Yes, guys, Eagle Eyed Football here. Uh, this is the Tottenham Hotspur away vlog. Um, going to the stadium, been there once before. Beautiful stadium, however, haven't seen us score a goal. Last time I was there, I left so early, I didn't see Victor Camarasa step on the pitch, which was his only uh, time on the pitch for Crystal Palace during his whole loan spell. But I'm looking forward to it. Uh, can't call this game. You don't know who's going to turn up. You don't know whether a great Spurs is going to turn up or a dreadful Spurs is going to turn up. Looking forward to it because we might actually see a goal because um, we're playing really well right now. But you know what? I'm looking forward to it. Um, score prediction. I'm probably going to say 2-2. Two, two. I know I said I haven't seen the goal there before, but I think both teams are... They're, 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 they're going forward good, but the defending is not so good. So let's see what happens. And come on, up the Palace. Eagle Eye Football here with the chairman in the pub, coronations going on, but we're still here. Spurs is way more important than all of that stuff. But what do you think about the game today? Um, I don't know really, because I it's, say it's Tottenham are a funny side, aren't they? I, I think I don't think we'll keep a clean sheet, and I think they'll go definitely score. It's just a matter of um, can we get into them early? Um, I don't think they're very good at the back, and but they have got a very good two. You know, Kane's a great striker. I mean, Son's, you know, Son is a good player. He's not having a great season, but he's a good player. Um, Always scores against us, though. Well, it's the same as every other striker in the league, doesn't it? But um, I think if we get out of a draw, we'll be happy. I mean, a, a win will be fantastic. But, uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be an interesting game. But, say, we've never scored in the stadium, and today it's going to change. I can feel it. Well, if today's going to, if today's going to change, then um, clearly you think that we're playing well... Um, there's obviously a good chance of us scoring. What kind of Spurs do you think will turn up today? Do you think it's the Spurs that beat Man City or the Spurs that are very Spursy? I hope the Spurs that turn up today, the Spurs that played Newcastle a couple of weeks ago, that'd be ideal. But um, I, I don't know. I mean, Spurs are, they're not bad at home, are they? They're a pretty decent side. But the, since Rice come back in, we've been even though we lost the Wolves, we still played very well, and we played really well in all the other games as well, and we're scoring goals, you know. Um, are you and Eze and, and Elise have been fantastic in it obviously Zaha still coming back and he came back last week got the knock but hopefully he's okay and he plays today um, I just hope that we start fast and we really get into them if we can push them back then I think we can do something but um, yeah I've got quite confident today yeah well we've got a long walk ahead of us um, we're going to get some liquid courage to actually go along with that walk but finally what's the score prediction um, yeah, definitely. Um, my prediction is I'm going to have at least two beers, if not three. But And as for the game, um, let's go out and limb. I said it's going to be a 2-2 draw. That's exactly what I said, That's funny enough. One. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, see, we'll see who we get to talk to as well today, but on to the next one. May I have your attention, please, Crystal Palace? Yes, guys, we've started the, the extremely long walk from Seven Sisters. It is exactly 1.4 miles from there to the stadium. And thank you, Tottenham. Thank you very much. Um, they've put some outdoor toilets outside during the walk because they know that this walk is ludicrous. Um, we're not even halfway yet. We've been walking for about 10 minutes already. Uh, oh man, I'll let you know when we're halfway. Anyway, we'll see you in a minute. Halfway now, and we can barely see the stadium over all the houses. We're in the stadium now, gonna get a beer after this. However, the team is out in goal. We've got Sam Johnstone, uh, Ward, Gay. Anderson, Mitchell, Eze, Decore, Schlupp, Elise, Ayu and Wilfred Zaha. We're going with the same 11. On the bench we've got Geiter, Richards, Riedewald, uh, Klein, who's back from injury now. 
Hughes, Lukonga, Luca, and uh, Mateta and Edward. Uh, listen, same team. If we can keep playing like how we've been playing, I'm up for it. Um, I would still like to see Zahar up front and Ayu out on the left because I think he does his best job out on the left. However, if it's the other way around, I'm not really too bothered. Zahar is captain again. Looking forward to it. Just speaking to a few fans now, they're saying it's more, more of a free hit. I don't really like using that word, but Bournemouth beat him here. Um, they concede early. However, they have to pick this game to drop Eric Dyer. Bruv, why did you drop him? Put him back in. We, he's, he's our only way in to score today. But, you know, looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Come on, up the palace. Oh, my score predictions. <laughs> Three, um, two, two. I'm gonna go two, two. I think, think Zahar and Alicia will get the goals. It's gonna be a, it won't be nil, nil. It'll be a close one, you know. But I think we can win it. But in reality, I think it's gonna be two, two. Hopefully, so yeah. Hopefully, we get some goals and something to cheer for once here. Because we don't have the best record, but I just like to see something for us to celebrate and be happy about. You know what I mean? What's your score prediction, Dan? Um, I'm going for a crazy three, three. Um, three, three. I think it's gonna be quite open first half. Um, but I think I think we're going to get a goal today. It won't end up nil nil. So um, you know I, we're going to be positive. I think in this game, I'm, I don't think we're on the beach. I think the players are going to come out. It's a great stadium. Um, it's a great place to play football. So I think they've really got to go for it. And if they do that, I think we'll get something out of the game. Who are the people that you think that we can get at today? Who are the people that you think Zahar, Elise? Poro, I, think, I think they need to get a Poro Davis and that as well. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cause them problems. Tristan, cheers, up the palace. Up the palace, up the, up the palace. palace. Come on, you eagles. <laughs> Half time. Crystal Palace nil, Spurs one. Uh, Harry Kane scored exactly on half time. And. It's a poor goal to concede. Um, Poro had so much space down the right side. Um, everyone tucked in. He had loads of space. Crossed it in. Kane was up against Wardy. There was no question about it. Wardy misjudged it completely. And they scored 1-0. Honestly, we haven't been playing too well and they haven't been playing too well. We're not pressing like we normally do. We're not actually playing that well either. Um, we need to commit more guys forwards. I think that's our problem today. We're not committing forwards. We're not trying our hardest today. But, you know, we're passing it around the back nice. Chakore's doing a madness as he always does. But other than that, Zaha's slowing us down. Elise's been isolated out wide. What's Ayu done really today? Um, he's been pretty good lately, but, you know, we need a proper striker up front. Um, mainly to defend from corners. I think that's one thing that we've seen lately. We're still so dreadful at corners. We need a big guy out in the, at the front post, just not letting the ball come in. But other than that, pretty shocking so far. Looking forward to see what we do in the second half. Normally we're better in the second half, but so are they. But let's see what happens. Up the Palace. Yes, guys, just got home from White Hart Lane. Uh, hell of a long walk back, as I said in the in the in a part of the video before the game. Um, got soaked on the way back. Didn't stop raining, so I had to have a shower. I felt felt disgusting after the game. But Tottenham Hotspur one, Crystal Palace nil, and I don't know what else to say about it really. What a dead game! What a dead game! We were dreadful. Spurs were dreadful as well, but. They've got a world-class striker up front, and there's nothing we can really do about it. Um, the goal was unfortunate. Um, obviously, their wing-backs weren't the best at defending. However, they are very good at going forwards, and we saw that today. Poro found loads of space down the right side. They sort of played like a three at the back with Emerson Royal as a centre-back sort of thing, and he got up as well, got up the pitch. Poro sometimes plays as like a right midfielder. But what they've done today worked. Um... We did shut down Son. He wasn't wasn't too out there today. Kane didn't really cause us much a threat apart from when he scored. But I think we dealt with it pretty well. Um, 
Hudson came out and said, you know, they've spent hundreds of million pounds on this on their team and we haven't and we've done a we made a pretty good account for ourselves. I tend to agree, but also not at the same time. I think that I don't think we're on the beach right now, but we're not playing very well. Um that game we didn't commit enough forwards. The chances we had we didn't take them at all. I think one that comes to mind is Eze's chance, where Zaha skill uh he skins a few of the players. Puts a nice cross on the inside. Elise is running in on it, and Elise and Eze is running away from it. But Eze takes the shot instead of leaving it for Elise. Like Eze had to sort of turn on the ball and shoot, whereas Elise, if he struck it, he could have had to taken a touch and then shoot. Probably would have been the better option, but you know, we're not clinical today, and we paid up. We paid the price. Um, we didn't press. Uh, we weren't good enough up front. Ayu, um, even though he's had a great form lately, didn't hold up the ball very well. Zaha so slowed the game down a hell of a lot, but probably was one of our greatest um, outlets in the team, running at them, playing a little bit like the old Zaha. Elise had a good game, Eze was pretty non-existent in both halves. The centre-backs were good, the defenders were good, Wardy had a, a bit of struggle with Son during the game, and um, Kane really struggled when um, trying to jump with Anderson and Gay, so he actually ended up pulling out to Mitchell, because he weren't getting no love otherwise. Uh, other than that, not much else to say about the game. The all I have to say is uh, uh, Darren England. Probably one of the worst refing performances I've ever seen. Uh, this guy is he's got it in for Palace, doesn't he? He's Klattenberg Mark too, And nothing goes for us. Nothing ever goes for us when it comes to him refereeing the game. He is a disgrace to be a referee. How the hell is that guy still got a job in the Premier League, let alone like getting to referee these big games but it's just atrocious really um Poro absolutely wipes out Zaha in the first half no card um I think Emerson Royal does the exact same thing to Will for about two three minutes later in the same in the first half no card the second schlap goes for a tackle on Hoybier yellow card every single time yellow card yellow card yellow card we made a challenge that maybe didn't come off perfectly yellow card it was it was atrocious um, but I, that, that's all I can say about it. It's just frustrating. Like I know we're safe, but as fans, we just want to carry on. We want to keep going. We want to get a better, better finish, better finish, more money. We can get better players next season. And listen, we're, we're all just crying out to have a great season and to finish a season like this. I know we're safe, but you know, every fan, we all went to this game to watch a good team play and that just didn't happen today. Uh, otherwise, you know, Spurs is a good stadium, but Jesus, their fans are dreadful, really. A stadium that big, that great, to not make a single noise in the first half. The only noise they made in the first half was the, them scoring, really. Um, that That's it. Um, and then even in the second half, when they were leading 1-0 the whole time, you didn't hardly heard them. They said, come on, you Spurs. Dreadful, man. Like, what, once, twice in the whole 45 minutes? Um saying cheerio cheerio at the end of the game but they're the ones leaving we're all still there um shocking fan base shocking club dislikable team and listen if you support tottenham and you went and you did sing your heart out i'm sorry i didn't see you but i'm gonna finish this vlog off saying that um we've got three games left um all the promoted teams in uh succession Hopefully we get a few more points, like to end the season on a win at least, um, get a few more points, um, hopefully we see a good performance. This is Eagle Eyed Football, this is I am JC, this is the Tottenham Hotspur vlog, and um, yeah, the Emirates has a better atmosphere than White Hart Lane. That's a fact. Anyway, up the palace. Eagles!